Welcome to the Your Business Card Guy Practical Corel Draw Series. Today we're going to talk about power clipping. Power clipping is how you can get photographs and graphics and insert them inside of objects so that they take the shape of that object. This is a really great way to create backgrounds and very neat text effects. I've got a couple of simple examples plus a practical one from a project I'm working on right now. So let's get started. In these first two examples we have very simple objects. In this case I have a star shape and down below I have some large text. My objects are a photograph of the earth and a piece of art that I've found. The first method is to simply right click and drag over your object, release the mouse, choose power clip inside, and there you go. It will clip it to exactly where your cursor is. So if you have it off to the side, it'll be a little bit off to the side. If you've centered it up, it will be centered. Now if you need to move this graphic so that it creates the effect that you want, it's as simple as doing a right click, choosing edit contents, and then you can move the photograph wherever you like. You can see here that this is a representation of the object so you know exactly where it is in relation to your graphic. You can scooch it, get it just right. We're going to go with a, a bit of an earth rising effect here. I'm going to right click now and choose finish. And that's very cool. I can now add a background or even change the border color to this object if I like. Simple as any other object in Corel. So there you go. You have a very nice effect done very quickly. No extra editing done to this graphic. It's in there and it can be moved. Uh, it can be removed and you can have a very good time making some very cool effects. On the second set I have some large text represented here with some impact font and then I have this piece of art. Now I could simply right click and drag just like I did before. You'll see that the cursor will change but it won't be the sniper scope. It'll be a, a bent arrow with an alpha character and if you were to release you could choose power clip inside. That is completely fine but let me show you another way to do it. I can select my object, then over in the object manager I can see that my object has been highlighted. I can now right click it here, drag it over the object I want to clip into, in this case the artistic text, and I can release. I choose power clip inside, and there it goes. Now you'll notice that it's not over in the text area and that's because Corel is clipping it exactly where I had the cursor and in this case the cursor was off the drawing so it is simply put it in its relative position. If I right click and choose edit you'll notice that my graphic is here and my object representation over here on the left. By dragging this over I can position it, I can resize it, do whatever I want to do with it just like any other graphic or object in Corel. That looks good. Right click, choose finish and that is a very cool effect. I can now resize that and see that full size. That's beautiful. Fantastic. Now let's take a look at a more practical example of power clipping. I have a business card that I've been working on with a client. We are doing the brand new logo and branding and we want to really emphasize transformation. So what I've done is I've come up with this business card here using their powerful colors and we want to take this T, this stylized T, and integrate it is a, a background, a subtle effect, something that will enhance the card without distracting or making it hard to read. So what I've done is I've taken this T and enlarged it. You can see I've got it here. And what I want to do is position it right about where I'm going to want to have it. So I want it to go a little bit off because I don't want it to be so obvious. Um, you know, I, I need it to be something that is a bit subtle but still recognizable so that it, it matches up with the branding the client has. Now obviously this pink color is too strong and it is very distracting but I plan on making it transparent so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Choose uniform. The default is 50. I'm going to bump that up to 85. We find uh, at the Your Business Card Guide that 85 to 95 is pretty good depending on the colors that you're using. Uh, and you can see here that this has faded away as a watermark. It's kind of in the background you can still recognize it for what it is. You know that it's the same T, which is a good branding tie-in, but it's not going to distract you from being able to read the information. So that's a fantastic way to go. However, if I hit F4 here, you can see that my graphic jumps down 
and it's not full screen. And that's because this T is actually overhanging the side of the card. Well, we need to get rid of that. Now, we could just do a crop tool effect, but anyone want to guess why that's a bad idea? Well, let me show you. So I highlight the area. I double click, which crops it, cuts it right off. I can hit F4, and now it goes full screen. And that's fine. That looks good. However, if you wanted to move this or resize this T, because you've cut it off, you can't do it. You'd have to start over and rebuild it. I'm going to undo that. Hit F4 again. You can see that it's there. It's jumped back out. So what we want to do is power clip this into the rectangle box here. Now, I could right click and drag it and then reposition it, and that's OK. I could also, in the object manager, like our second example, right click and drop it in there. That would be fine. However, for what we're doing today, let's take a look at the third way you can power clip. I can click on my object. I choose Effects, choose Power Clip, and Place Inside Container. Now Corel gives me this large, bulky black arrow. Simply position it on the object that you want to clip into. It doesn't really matter exactly where, because it is going to maintain the relative position. Click on the object, and it's power clipped. You can see that this is gone. Hit F4, and it jumps up. And then over here, it says power clip rectangle. So you can see that that makes a very nice card branding tie-in. And it's something that you could easily right click, edit, and reposition if you needed to. I can push that over just a little bit, right click, choose finish and there we go fantastic card thank you for watching today we really appreciate it and we're going to have more tutorials up on the web shortly if you have any questions check us out yourbusinesscardguy.com